Research being conducted with zinc and aluminum air batteries. This is a preliminary test. We're using an external power source of uh, about 8 or 9 volts. And uh, we have the power source hooked up to a vernier circuit board, a uh, convenient type of uh, breadboard sold by the Vernier Corporation. And uh, we're using that to uh, conduct standard battery performance tests that we're designing. Um, here we can see the multimeter hooked up. And we're letting it run. Uh, we're at about 8.03 volts. So this uh, secondary battery we're using, rechargeable, uh, we'll let it run down over the course of hours. And uh, we don't have the sensors hooked up for current or uh, potential, but uh, uh, differential voltage. We don't have the sensors hooked up yet, but we will. We uh, will be using one of these uh, LabQuest minis that the Vernier company has, and that will be uploaded to the Mac for real-time data and uh, graphs. What we have running it uh, as a load is a simple water pump that requires 3 to 5 volts DC. It's quiet, and... Uh, that's the load we're using. We don't even have a resistor put on this uh, on the board. We're just testing the board out. And then it'll be replaced with uh, our batteries that we're designing and testing. But it's an efficient board and uh, it'll serve the purpose. We'll be uploading our work with uh, a uh, number of the aluminum batteries that we actually prepare in tea bags for good air circulation. We'll be hooking them up in series and uh, this board can tolerate an external power source of uh, oh, 10 volts maximum. And I'm actually doing this work right in my office on campus. Very efficient. Very practical. Thanks for watching. Bye now.